Well, here we are on Holtz Heath in, uh, oh dear, oh dear, where are we dear, what county? Oh, no, Dorset, Dorset, I'm turning into a raven thicky, I tell you. Uh, Dorset, Holtz Heath, Dorset in the United Kingdom. You're so fortunate. Do you know, I never thought there was any benefit uh, to Huawei turning off ultra high definition after 10 minutes. You've just missed a rave against the machine. I had a good rave against concrete producers and builders who build on green fields rather than building on green fields. Uh, because they, well, they hate countryside. They just, they just want money. Yeah, I want brown fields rather than green field sites. And uh, so I had a right rave. So I, f I feel better about it now. Um, and uh, so you were spared from that uh, because Huawei turned off after 10 minutes because obviously it needs more control over my phone than I do. Anyway, we won't have any more Huawei's after March because I'm going to change. They've shot their self in the foot controlling my machine. Anyway, be that as it may, thank you for watching, liking, sharing and for ringing the bell. And a big thank you to, especially of appreciation, for all those who've subscribed. And if you haven't subscribed, pretty please subscribe to the nutter who's doing it. Sorry, to the gentleman. No, no, cancel that. To the man who's doing this video. That would be so nice. It's the Rambling Rambler. Dave to his friends. Now we're having a lovely walk across this heathland and uh, as I said in the last video I would imagine that some of this here is bogland and with bogland and heathland ideal for adders and love this sort of area here but on a day like this where it's a little chilly, a little cool and um, also it's uh, rather soggy I can imagine that uh, adders will be tucked away out of the way, keeping warm somewhere in this lovely area. Well, just look everywhere here is this beautiful purple of heather. It's so lovely. Hello, my darling's taking pictures of me ever. I don't blame her. It's beautiful. So, um, what have you been up to today? Is this your sort of countryside or do you pre prefer the concrete jungle? Incidentally, I note with interest that most people like cities. The videos that I do in cities get far, far more uh, views by a big shot, far more views than the countryside. I can only think that my viewers and they're entitled to their own view, don't like the countryside and they much prefer cities. That's the impression. I'm sure that those of you who have a different opinion are going to let me know in the comments. And you are entitled to it. So there we are. I'm just going by how many likes I get on country um, videos as opposed to city videos. That's, that's the only thing I can go by, but there we are. I have to say, I do like city videos myself, but I also like country ones, where I see the lovely rolling countryside. Look at that purple interspersed with that green. Isn't that lovely? The with the ferns, yeah. I where you go to get to cross uh, You go across, you know where we went to the T-junction along here before, last yeah, time? Yeah. And then you take a left. Where we went right and went right out round here yeah. and over the, in the far distance there. Yeah. Instead, you go, when you get to the T-junction, you turn left. Because oh. I remember thinking at the time, oh, it goes to Cross Keys. Yes, we went to the Cross Keys pub last night and had, it's basic cuisine, but it's, it's lovely and had a pint and a, and a meal, had a three course meal. And we both had, my wife had cider, I had a beer and uh, came to 45 quid for three, two three course meals, a beer and a cider. I think that's not too bad. So 
now we're headed off across here it's interesting to see that they said there's going to be no rain for at least an hour in fact i looked on one that said none for four hours and yet you've got these clouds going over at, at, at quite a rate of knots but if i stand still you can see these clouds whizzing by yeah they, they're sort of giving it summit oh how lovely yeah you'd have a job to walk out across here look it, this this is basically bog land you can see the water but there's lots and lots of bog land out across there so you'd have a real problem you've got the grasses and stuff that grow in the bog and uh, none of it is very safe you wouldn't get very far and there's mud even at the edges here so you wouldn't get very far look at it you can see um, you'll probably sink down in no time at all but we're having a, a lovely walk today we had to come out it was we've been sitting indoors not indoors in the caravan for because of the rain and I thought oh we better come out but we had a nice chat while I was in the jacuzzi while we were in the jacuzzi I had a chat with Vibhuti in Shimla in India and uh, another chat with our dear friend Raj in uh, Gogon in Delhi and so but uh, that was a lovely catch-up that we had and poor Raj has got problems with the telephone so I don't know where it'll go from there but we will see well the booty lives up in the mountains in Shimla and it's beautiful she sometimes send me pictures of where she lives and the mountains she's up in the mountains and she shows pictures down into the valleys and the clouds sitting in the valleys how green is my valley I think this path is trying to revert to bog but uh, yeah the bog is encroaching on the pathway yeah everywhere you can oh I think it would although to be fair love it had we if you think about the site that was an absolute downpour and it flooded the site the site is nowhere near flooded I know what you're saying but then we haven't had as much as we'd had then so but I hadn't planned on going that far round well we, sadly we'll come back the way we went yeah. but um, I'm thinking oh yeah. here we are we're all right here and we'll go to where that T junction is I think and then we'll go back I think so I mean we're not in immediate uh, danger of losing light but now I wonder what those are oh those are the same stuff look that's that gorse isn't that lovely it's prickly, prickly yeah you can see prickly all over it but they're the new ones that are flowering not the older bushes yeah. there's lots of these small ones the yellow ones look here beautiful that's oh so beautiful it's interesting that this is still sandy look yeah. still quite sandy so despite the rain yeah at least you know there's going to be no adders today Well, thank you for watching, and bye for now from Holtz Heath in Dorset, United Kingdom. It's the Rambling Rambler.